Hello and welcome to another video. Now this one is just an answer to a subscriber of mine who was asking about map info and labeling. Now here we have map info and if we want to put labels on we can just click the button there to show the automatic labels and what these do is they show the service column on the left within our table. So if I just open up the table so we'll have a look at the data there. And so I'm going to put a new browser for Surrey Discs. And this will let us see effectively a spreadsheet of the data that's stored related to this table. Uh, so basically the, the data in the table. And the furthest left-hand column is the one that we will see as the labels here. Now, you'll notice that within this, I don't have a column to show me the area of the districts. However, I can still label with the area. Now the way I do this is I double click here to bring up my labeling options and in the labeling options I could here choose which column to use if the data was in the columns. I'm going to choose to use an expression. So I click on expression. Now rather than ID what I can use is a function and I can choose the area. Now what this does is it takes the area of the object in other words, it will measure the area of that object and give me the answer in square kilometers. Click OK, and there I have it. Now I could make this slightly better. I could make it so that I can see the square kilometers as well. So I go back to my expression, and I simply concatenate this together with SQKM. Verify my syntax is correct, click OK, OK again, and I'm now seeing the square kilometers there. OK, so that was just, like I say, a quick answer to a specific question from a subscriber. I hope that was useful. And if you did find it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And thank you for listening.